This is where a reciprocating saw would be better because I can't reach all the way through there. around real easily there I could see liking to be able to clamp it down somehow for example I was filing there's a little weld here they did something and then I think maybe they had these tabs which is which they have there for the for the instrument panel I think maybe Maybe those tabs were back here, and they cut them off and moved them here. Anyway, I'd like to take a hand file and just file that off of there carefully so I don't dig into the laundry on, but this moves around a lot, so it's tough to do that. So I may maybe drill some holes in the table so I can somehow clamp the fuselage down. Eventually, what I'm going to do actually. Maybe after I chop off and build the new station zero, at that point I think maybe I'll build a couple of stands, which I'm sure you've seen before, that hook to each end of the fuselage like a rotisserie, so you can you can lock it, but you can rotate the fuselage. And I guess if I build that beefy enough, it'd hold it sturdily, so I could file and do different things like that. These are, these are all black inside here, I guess, just from, well, the tubes are black to begin with, and then looks like there's some charring just from, from when they welded it up. So I'll, I'll clean these up too. Well, this is coming out. I won't clean these up because this, this spar carry through is gone. It needs to be three-quarter inch tube, not a one-inch tube. That's that's kind of a gross error. I don't see how they how do you make uh, yeah that's a that's a gross error, huge error, pretty annoying. Although I would have probably needed to readjust these holes anyway, just because the wings you want them exactly perpendicular to the fuselage, and you build everything by hand, so these holes are probably not in the perfect spot. This actually works out okay. I'll cut this out, make the new tube, mount the wing, adjust it so they're perpendicular to the fuselage, and at that point I'll mark through the, the aluminum wing fittings, the root fittings, I'll mark a hole on the new tube so I know exactly where to drill these holes so the wings are perpendicular to the plane. So I probably would have would have had to redo some of this anyway, so that's okay. I'll cut that out of there. I'm not, I don't remember exactly how the torque tube mounts in here. It has bearings in it. But I don't, the bolt goes through, I guess, and just protrudes into the bearing. Smooth on the other end. But I don't remember how it gets held in place. 
I'll need to look at that so that when I make the new torque tube, I, I get this inner part correct. Maybe you just weld a nut on here and screw the bolt into that, and then the end of it protrudes there. I'm not sure. Hopefully, I don't need to redo that part of the the front spark carry through. So anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, this is a little bit scary. Okay, maybe more than a little. But I got to do it. I want to extend this three inches, which is what the plans recommend. So it's got to go. Everything must go. Well, thankfully, not everything. Oops. All right. Procrastinating. Tab that was holding that piece of wood on here, which I'll probably want to make. It'll probably be different anyway. Hopefully, I can make mine narrower. All right, this goes nothing. Shield, just a hair. Cuts like butter. This is squeezing down on that. So that's what binds on there because it. For some reason, it's pulling that way. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chop this in the middle for now. I'll get up close to the edge later on once I've got some working room. One to go is what I meant. One to go. Voila! Boy, they had a cutoff blade, which I think is the blade that came on this thing, maybe. Yeah, I think it is. It's the most used one. Anyway, boy, that thing just really cuts cuts through those like butter. I need to get a reciprocating saw. I want one. I wanted one to do this, but this really does a great job. The cutoff saw can, I think, reach some places that this has trouble with because it's got that long, skinny blade. But boy, this thing, it really does a good job. Interestingly, there were some tiny pinholes that I found in this fuselage. When you're doing oxyacetylene welding, when you're welding up a tube so that it's a relatively short length and it gets sealed in at the ends the very very last weld that you make can be difficult to do because as it heats up the pressure inside the tube builds and it's pushing air out the air is expanding and it pushes out through the 
this the molten metal that you're welding with there at the very end. So it's, it can be a challenge to get that final seal, that final weld to button up the pipe. And there's some pinholes here. In fact, when I leaned the brought the plane in, even though it had a tarp over it, I think some water had gotten into it. Um, hopefully that's just a recent thing. Not hopefully it hasn't had water in it for a long time. But uh When I brought the plane in the garage and was tilting it around back and forth and moving it, some water would be dripping out of these different pinholes. There's actually, I think there's a number of them around. So, I'm hoping that it's not a big problem with this plane. I was hoping that when I cut that firewall off, I don't know if any water would come out. Those front tubes are not, looks like, looks like it's dry in there. So. I don't, I don't know which tubes got water and which ones didn't, but hopefully it's not going to be a problem. All right, there we go. All right, these rudder pedal mounts are not to spec. The rudder pedals that the plans call for, which are pretty cool actually, pretty cool, pretty nice. Uh, they actually are suspended from up here. There's actually a, a horizontal bar that goes here. And then this thing would come out this way and the pedals you push on the bottom. So this is totally not to spec, so I'm going to cut these off. sure why they made this square maybe just to make it easier to put these tabs on I think these tabs were they had some plywood flooring maybe that was just to hold the floor and I don't remember off the top of my head but that's probably what those tabs are for and that's probably why they made this a square tube just so they could make it easier to weld those tabs too I don't know all right hopefully I can leave all this I'll just trim trim these off and I'll have to cut these these right here, this and this, this and this, are to hold straps that went over their fuel tank, which is not at all according to plans. That's, it may be just fine, but I'm not sure if I'll do it that way. In any event, these will go, initially at least, because you got to cut these tubes at a 30 degree angle to do a splice. You cut that at a 30 degree angle, cut your new piece of tube, also cut the end at a 30 degree angle, put a smaller piece of tube inside this tube, after you've drilled a few holes in here and you do a rosette weld which I think probably the purpose is just to keep that inner tube from sliding from moving and then you weld around that angled joint between the new extended tube and the existing tube so I so still have to cut all these at a 30 degree angle oh and by the way since you have no idea what I'm talking about. How about if I show you this? Actually, yeah. So these these are for the fuel tank for straps to come over and hold the fuel tank and for straps to come under. Anyway, these tubes, when I splice these, those will get a 30 degree angle and drill holes in there for rosette welds for the inner tube that goes in. Anyway, that's what I was talking about. Sorry about that. So these 
when I was first showing you the fuselage here in the garage, these are what I was talking about. These pulley mounts should be tilted inward because the, the cable comes straight back and then it goes in like this or it goes up. So the only way for that to change direction smoothly is if this pulley is tilted inward. So these are mounted perpendicular to this. They need to be leaning inwards. So. So I'll just chop these off and I'll, I'll redo that later. I think, I think that's most, okay, that's most of what needs to get chopped off, but not all. I gotta chop out this rear, um, spark carry through. I think, still have to chop out that, this rear spark carry through here. I think what I'll probably do is weld up the new station zero first just to add some rigidity back into the front of the fuselage. Then I'll cut this out, because if I cut this out, I'm losing this and this bracing, so quite a lot of bracing that would be coming loose when that gets cut. Width-wise, there's still a tube under here, so I'd have that. So I think I'll wait, though, to cut that out until I've got Station Zero welded back in then that'll be the last major thing. Really, there's only the two major things. Station Zero and the reverse spark carry through. Those are the two major surgeries. But I'll do one at a time, I think. Leave that one welded up until Station Zero is done. <laughs> 